Hey again! Introducing Webhook Automation, a powerful new plugin that can automate almost anything, from WooCommerce orders to Shopify notifications and any service that supports webhooks. Let's begin by setting up WooCommerce first. Now let's place a test order after setting up the webhook. This will help us capture the webhook endpoint and structure, so we can build our flow accordingly. This is the data sent to us by the WooCommerce webhook. Now we'll use this data to create a flow using the What's CRM Flow Builder. Now, this is the important part. You'll need to enter a mobile number here if you want to use the send message node in your webhook flow. You can either create the message yourself using dynamic variables or simply use any LLM model to generate the message for you. I'm all Let's place another order. And this time, you'll see the WhatsApp notification in action. As you can see, we've received an order notification on WhatsApp just as defined in our webhook automation flow. Now I'll show you another example, this time for a Shopify order notification, along with the setup.
just like we did with WooCommerce, we'll create a webhook in What's CRM and add it like this. Now, let's place an order to capture the webhook. This will show us the key Shopify sends, which we can then use to build our webhook flow. All right, we've received the order webhook. Let's take a look at the data and create the flow to set up the notification. Just like before, if you want to use the Send WhatsApp message node in your webhook flow, make sure to add the phone number here, either directly or as a variable. You can either create your own message using dynamic variables or let any AI generate one for you. Alright, let's place an order again on Shopify now. And boom, the Shopify order notification has arrived on WhatsApp. You can also use other nodes in your webhook flow and customize them as needed, allowing you to automate almost anything. Bye today!